What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody, October 23rd, 2024, on a good old Wednesday word here from the Lord. The Lord had given me a couple of scriptures here to give you all, and of course, he will add on as we go and we read, right? So one thing y'all all have to understand is that the enemy is attacking us for a reason. He's on an attacking spree because he's desperate. He wants people to give up as we get closer to what God has promised us and so forth, right? Depending on where you are with the Lord. So starting off Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. We need to speak life every single day we get out the bed. I don't care what the enemy is trying to do. Remember, that's how our father speaks. God the Father, when he was creating things, he says, let there be light, right? He spoke life over his will. God is life, and he is the way to it eternally. So we got to understand that speaking life is an important part of our day. So if you need healing, thank you, Father, in advance. I am healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, firm and healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. It's just one example. There will be no spirit of fear, anxiety, depression. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next day. There will be a spirit of peace coming through. A peace restored in sound mind because God is not the spirit of fear, nor is he the author of confusion, right? Come on. So remember that God is always there. And he just said, know that I am always with you, my child. He's not far away. Okay. And I'm just going to read 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind and of a sound mind. OK, so he just says this. There are a lot of you that think you're doing something wrong due to getting attacked. And that's not always the case. Right. We get attacked because we serve the Lord. We love God and we get tested. And that's necessary to strengthen us. A lot of people can be overcritical with themselves and overthink, and Satan can actually use certain things to keep you and a certain mindset, okay? And the Lord just said that it is a cycle of uncertainty and fear, okay? Which leads us to the next part, Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So God is always there to help us through the test, right? And he gives us the answers even before it. But the enemy tries to come in and make you forget what that answer is. God has already helped you pass the test. Now you just got to take what he's given you to pass it and prove the enemy wrong about yourself, right? That's what's so important, so important. We don't need to be fearing what others are fearing, right? We don't need to fear at all. Just look at God. And if you do something you're not supposed to do, do better. There's no need or room for guilting or shaming. God doesn't do that. Satan does that, right? So you've got to realize and you've got to understand. The Lord said, peace is to a puzzle. Everything is like a piece to a puzzle to what God's plan is. And each piece has to be put in place for you to understand and see for yourself. Oh, come on, Father. See, there are different areas that God strengthens in you. And as you go through this walk, more pieces are connected in what he's trying to teach you, what he's trying to show you, knowledge and wisdom, why the enemy's trying to attack you. Knowledge and wisdom is so important because you need understanding. Come on, Father, which leads to the next scripture, Proverbs 3, 5 to 8. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Come on, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. He shall direct your paths, acknowledge him in all your ways. Include God in every aspect of your life. Because see, here's the deal. You got to understand why you're being attacked. You understand? It's important. If there's something that Satan is using to affect you through any past hurt or anything, whether, you know, a lot of you, I've talked to a lot of you, and even through comments, I see a lot of hopelessness and, oh, I'm tired of this, I'm tired of that. Don't say that word. You are blessed in the Lord. You are going to rest in the Lord. You are going to be at peace and wait for the Lord. Be patient with the Lord because he is there. A lot of you, Satan is trying to put in cycles of fear. And that's not good, especially with the times and shaking up to the world that will come because now you're going to think, oh, am I in the right standing? And you shouldn't have to ask that. God is so loving and so understanding. He's going to be right there with you to help you. You're seeking him. You're trying. You don't need to be afraid, even if you do something wrong, to communicate to God. It's a relationship. We're not going to be perfect people. But what is not OK is allowing Satan to push you around with fear. And we've got to push that out the door. We've got to lock those doors in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever cracks he's trying to reach his hand to get to you through. Whatever doors he's trying to come through to bother you through. That is what we need to do. And we speak life and keep him out. We don't entertain thoughts of fear or, or negativity. You understand? So understanding why it's happening to you is important. And a lot of you do. So when he comes through to use the same thing over and over and over, it's time to change the way it affects you to where it doesn't affect you at all. And yes, there are no shortcuts. You got to work through it with God and you got to make sure you are not blinded by Satan's deception. And the Lord has said this to me again. He just told me, tell them to stop watching the people that I told them to stop watching. Nobody should be giving you a spirit of fear. A lot of you, I need you all to listen. There's a lot of people on these platforms that want to be seen, want to be heard, want to be known. And that could stem from hurt as well. There's a lot of people who take pride in the quote unquote calling they've called themselves to be right. It could be a lying spirit. It could be anything the enemy can use against them to affect you because you're listening. Well, Sammy, how do we know? You assess it and take it back to God. There are no shortcuts. You got to work on it. It's work with the Lord in your relationship. You got to put the dedication and the time into this stuff, right? And be willing to be patient while learning. Look, the body of Christ is filled with brothers and sisters in Christ. Even when we go to each other to tell each other, hey, brother or sister, this ain't right. It's because we love each other and we want the best for each other. The body of Christ is the body of Christ. This is a heavenly family. We help each other. But when you have people giving out certain words that put their own brothers and sisters in fear, that's wrong. Now, it, sometimes people put themselves in fear. We said this before. But when a spirit of fear is coming off of a person and being tossed through the messages to other people it's wrong because god don't talk to his children like this you ain't got nothing to worry about leave it in the hands of god and you do your part by working on your relationship and being consistent right the lord said consistency is key to growing so when god gives you something you know a lot of people look at the word to try to figure out where they want to read but sometimes Hebrews 11 is something you need to be reading on a daily as a reminder until you move on to that next phase for more scripture, right? God has given you the answer. You know it. You just got to work on it, okay? So I hope this message helps with everything going on. You know the enemy is threatened by you. He feels some type of way. 
He don't want you to reach the potential God sees in you to get to where you need to be for the days we live in, right? If he wasn't doing it, then something was really wrong because he don't see nothing in you. So start off by realizing Satan is after me because of what God sees in me and go from there and let God help you. All right. And pray for the strength to endure through these waiting periods. All right. Come on with it. And you always know if you got a problem with this message, call 1-800-ANCIENT-OF-DAYS. Get you a large amount of faith. Get you some sense that's not always common. And call the Lord, call your father, because he will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know and show you the way he wants to show you. Right. Because you got to understand all the people in the wicked ways are messing with the G.O.D., the one and only God, the father. And they better know it and they will understand it because when he pour out his spirit on all flesh, ain't no excuse. God is real and you're going to see it. And everybody that has been faithful to the Lord will also see what they've waited for. So you better not let Satan pull you the other way. You better stop playing. Don't trip and dip right now. You better keep walking forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peace and blessings, and I will catch y'all in the next one.